U.S. Physics Olympiad Year 2014 USA PHO Final Exam Problem B2 In parts A and B of this uh, problem, assume that the uh, velocities V are much less than the speed of light C and therefore ignore a relativistic contraction of uh, length or time duration. Part A An infinite uh, uniform sheet has a surface charge density sigma and has an infinitesimal thickness. The sheet lies uh, in the xy plane. Question 1. Assuming the sheet is at rest, determine the electric field E, magnitude and direction above and uh, below the sheet. Question 2. Assuming the sheet is uh, moving with the velocity v in the direction x parallel to sheet, determine the electric field E, magnitude and direction, above and uh, below the sheet. Question 3. Assuming the sheet is uh, moving with the velocity v in x direction, determine the magnetic field E, magnitude and direction, above and below the sheet. Question 4. Assuming the sheet is uh, moving with velocity v in z direction perpendicular to the sheet, determine the electric field E, magnitude and direction, above and uh, below the sheet. Question 5. Assuming the sheet is moving with velocity v in z direction, Determine the magnetic field B, magnitude and direction above and below the sheet. Part B. In a certain region there exists only the electric field E in form of EX plus EY plus EZ and no magnetic field as measured by an observer at rest. The electric and magnetic fields E prime and B prime as uh, measured by observers in motion can be determined entirely from the local value of E, regardless of the charge configuration that may have uh, produced it. Question 1. What would be the observer electric field E as uh, measured by an observer moving with velocity V in direction Z? Question 2. What would be the observed magnetic field B as measured by an observer moving with the velocity V in direction Z? Part C. An infinitely long wire on the Z axis is uh, composed of uh, positive charges with a linear charge density lambda, which are at rest and negative charges with the linear charge density negative lambda, moving with the speed v in the z direction. Question 1. Determine the electric field E, magnitude and direction, at points outside the wire. Question 2. Determine the magnetic field B, magnitude and direction, at points outside the wire. Question 3. Now consider an observer moving with the speed v parallel to the z axis so that the negative uh, charges appear to be at rest. There is a symmetry between the electric and magnetic fields such that the uh, variation to your answer to part b can be applied to the magnetic field in this part. You will need to change the multiplicative constant to something dimensionally correct and uh, reverse the sign. Use this fact to find and uh, describe the electric field measured by the moving observer and uh, comment on your result. Some familiarity with the special relativity can help you verify the direction of your result, but is not necessary to obtain the correct answer.